Tarax have detected the construction of a capital vessel and have deployed a preemptive strike. What the f What the hell, man? Battle stations, battle stations, what the hell? Welcome back, my friends, to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. We are playing the scenario Reforged Eden. Let's continue from the left off. And my friends, I have browsed and browsed the workshop, seeing all of those amazing capital vessels designs, of course, for Reforged Eden. There are so many talented designers that it is hard to pick. I'm going to pick uh, something from the designer that I usually pick stuff from. It does this clearly because the look and feel of the capital vessels, besides of course the performance that they have, uh, it is it, it, it is on my hell alley. So let me show you what I want for my first. This is a starting capital vessel. It is the kiln. Unlock 10 reforged Eden. Who did this awesome design? Excalibur, of course. So, my friends, I need carbon substract, iron ingots, copper, titanium, silicon, neodymium, cobalt, satium, and wooden planks. Just for the sake of linking up all the episodes, I did want this intro introduction. I will show you the current resources that I have. If I am missing a little bit of them, I will go and get it. We will try out this capital vessel on this episode. I will probably record it, record it on a, a couple of takes because it takes 4 hours and 25 minutes to get this out <laughs> then from the factory. And I also need to place this inside of the factory. So it, it, will, it will take a while. But uh, I do like the, the linking between episodes. So instead of starting off by showing you the actual thing, I will show you just a little bit of um, getting the resources. So all of this carbon substract, it, it is very easy on this planet. You need uh, stone, you need, um, I think, rocks, right? And you need uh, wood, plenty of both on this planet. Iron ingots. Uh, let me show you. I have been between episodes, as usual, my background tasks. I did deconstruct not all of it. I'm, I'm like 50% on on one of the unknown artifacts over here. I am also like still 90% of, of, of it to go on the abandoned outpost. I'm also like 40% in the... the workshop or the get somewhere over here I don't know if it's on this abandoned workshop yeah I still have a lot of deconstructing to do and this is a reason why I also wanted to speak a bit about this at the beginning of the episode before going out and getting the resources my friends it is because I that this one takes 8k of volume my small vessel that it's outside the one that it has the warp drive it has storage of 10k between episodes i also went into one of these moons that we have close by i got uh, a deposit of cobalt and one of pentaxid but that is enough to fill up the cargo hold so the number of trips going back and forth it is clearly probably not the best use of my time so why not get a nice starting capital vessel and I can move where I want and then it is so much easier to harvest all of the resources. I can just park my capital vessel besides this POI, connect it to my old cargo hold of the capital vessel and raise it to the ground. With this hover vessel or even with the small vessel, it takes several trips to get it done. So I really want a capital vessel to start to get resources a little bit faster. So this is what I have, not nothing on this one. Look at this, the amount of iron, the amount of copper. This one, this one, uh, again silicon, more iron. This is what I got from that moon, a little bit of cobalt, a lot of pentaxid. <laughs> that, that's really nice. It was a small size pentaxid, so I'm really looking forward to get more pentaxid out of the moon. 
on this one nothing so plenty of iron some silicon some copper and that's pretty much it in terms of my main container this is what i have plenty of titanium plates plenty of shishino material uh, a lot of satium also so i will be adding all of these to the factory and see if i am missing something give me a moment my friends and i will just catch up with you guys to what i still need to gather over here okay my friends since i will be soon enough on the capital vessel at least soon enough at least uh, in in terms of the episode i am making sure that i am getting all the water that i need because i want the best of my ability to be able to stay long periods of time on hostile planets or on moons where i won't have access to water so let's make sure that we have all the water that i can bring with me it's going to be so useful i am also crafting some food because i'm pretty sure that this kiln from what i read on the description it does have some fridges but it does not have any farming plots so in terms of food i will have to bring all the food with me not a big deal many planets i will be able to pick up food you can buy food on the space stations but uh, the more the merrier this is the status right now wooden planks are done satium are done i am crafting right now the carbon substract should be easy um, the only looking quickly at these shenanigans i might need to use my small vessel one more time to go into beta 6 i think get a titanium deposit also i can keep deconstructing around here and i can I, I should also go also in beta 6 or even on beta 4 and get uh, another deposit of neodymium. neodymium i might be i might have enough it was just because i didn't have i didn't have the ingots crafted uh, let's double check and this is the last update before having the capital vessel ready i'm so looking forward to it so let's go to the base mm, base uh, container controller connect to this one there, there we go 280 and how much more neodymium ore i have 51 yeah i'm i'm a little bit short on the neodymium but we have several sources of it um cobalt it might be enough not a big deal and what am i getting also carbon substract it, it will take a while to craft all of this you guys don't need to watch it let's go into the factory add these ones up there you go one one thousand and three hundred ingots neodymium that we need to get cobalt we are around 900 so probably what i have it is enough and carbon substract there you go 1000 4000 to go copper and uh, silicon still still missing a bit of those all of those mining trips my friends uh, i will start doing them i will add everything to the to the to the factory and then all the four the last four hours that you see here as a crafting time four hours and nine minutes i will be just getting everything that i need for the capital vessel i, I have to refine the pentaxid plenty of stuff still to to do last thing it is my friends i'm not broke anymore balance seven thousand credits it is all in terms of Imperium, it is almost nothing but i did uh, i have started to sell some stuff I sold some bandages, I sold some food, uh, these emergency rations, they go for more than 1000, that's really really nice and I can always craft more, perhaps there are better things to craft, but uh, I did went around and sold some food and now I have 7000 uh, credits. In terms of small optronic uh, thingies, which was what I needed for the what i needed and i need i still need for the shield for the um, improved cpu for my small vessel outside there you go they are being sold in orbit in the 
Polaris trading station. They cost around 17,000 credits. So I, I have a plan to get that kind of money, but it's still a long way from happening. The, 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 the shield for, for the Hatapu. My friends, there you go. Next time, in the next couple of seconds for you guys, a couple of hours or more, even more than, than that for me, you, you will see spawning over here the most beautiful starting capsule vessel ever. At least I want to believe so. And the moment has arrived, my friends. The moment has arrived for you. Just a couple of seconds for me. Plenty of time getting the materials, playing in Pyrian. But well, I do enjoy it, so it was kind of grindy. But we are done. Let me go to the factory. There you go. Where is it? Where is, where is my new capital vessel? Or, or my first capital vessel? There it is. The kiln. And lock level 10. Reforged. From Excalibur. Let's spawn it. It took 4 hours, my friends. It took me plenty of time before these 4 hours. Because I was missing some resources. I went back to the snow planet. I needed more titanium. So I harvested one more batch of titanium and it, it wasn't even enough so i went and finished off this con deconstructing that alien poi that has some titanium and it was it was enough copper and silicon we were both we, we i was missing a little bit of both and it was a run to the asteroids everything else i i managed to just get it near the meme, i also jumped to the system next door and mined a little bit more the the asteroid so there you go no more waffle you guys you guys don't want to know the trouble that it was getting the resources you guys want to see the how it's called the kiln and let's spawn it on the top of the swamp right find a nice spot i should have probably done this sooner but i was so eager to spawn it my friends there you go <laughs> Tarax have detected the construction of a capital vessel and have deployed a preemptive strike. What the f What the hell, man? To, to, to battle stations, battle stations, what the hell? Yo, yo, yo. There you go, stupid drones. The face. What the hell, man? Is this from vanilla? Is this from vanilla or what the hell or is it a gift from the reforged Eden gods? What the hell, man? Okay. And I, and now it we get a we get a story. I was hoping for a clear. So we have this kiln. My first time ever trying this one. And I. Just park inside but for this moment. Okay. Open up, beautiful. Oh, nice! Uh, you can go in from one side and then you can go out from. Beautiful. Let's park over here. Turn off. Beautiful. There you go. Let's 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 check it together, my friends. This is. Uh, we have more more drones. There you go my turrets handle the drones so but if you if you play reforge didn't be sure that, uh, make sure that you when you when you spawn your capital vessel that you have some defenses okay uh, i hope now we are fine so this is my beautiful kiln and i will say you the specs first you have this beautiful inside anger that you can access pretty much everything we have over there the constructor armor blocker food processor a fridge cargo container oh loving it so let's go for the stats my friends uh, it has a basic cpu extender 4x four times 320,000 cargo systems i'm Pretty sure that we can loot an entire planet with a cargo size like this. 
It has one large constructor, one small constructor, medical suite, O2, armor locker, food processor, wireless detector, six minigun turrets, and four sentry guns. That's what you get when you spawn it from the workshop. It has it has prepared for spacing for warp drive, spacing for tiers uh, for the tier zero shield, the, the first tier, spacing for deconstructor and spacing for multi drill turrets. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Again, but again, it, it is a starter capital vessel. Let's take a look up here. In axe. To the... Ooh, ooh. Ooh, jet, 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 jet. What the hell, man? Uh, how did you die? Well, I died because I jumped out of my capital vessel and I died. Do I have an entrance? An outside entrance? Oh, we do. do. we have over there? What's, what's that over there? It's just uh, space for something, right? Turrets? Or is it? Is this a docking space? Uh, I have to check the instructions. On the workshop you have the, the upgrading uh, instructions, so I have to check those. Let's go, let's go inside. Let, let's try again to go to the roof. Because I think on this roof, my friends, you do have um, some space for on this roof you do have some space yeah a, a landing pad so you can also place a nice um, small vessel on the top so hoover vessel goes to the bottom small one or two small vessels here on the top beautiful so i'm looking forward to trying this one out uh, my plans for using this capital vessel at least to try it out i have i want to go to the moon one of the moons that we have here at rogery because i found one with plenty of pois to to loot check and nice resources so why why should i use my small vessel over there to do like 10 trips 10k at a time when i can just like a boss bring my own capital vessel, park on one area, clean it up, lift off, park on another area, clean it up, and so on, so on. Beautiful. The only thing that this capital vessel doesn't have, it is uh, farm plots, so you have to bring your food uh, with you, which clearly it, not, it, it is not a big deal. You, you, you have to prepare for it, but it's not a big deal. You can buy food from the space stations, if you land on some of the planets you can harvest you can collect the food that you want but um, i will make sure that i will bring enough i am living on a very nice rich planet where i have been collecting a lot of stuff uh, i'm pretty sure that i can bring food that lasts me for <laughs> a couple of years but uh, yeah that's the only thing that it does not have it is arm plots my friends let me get all the ammo for these turrets all the fuel for the capital vessel Make sure that I have everything and we will proceed our first trip with this capital vessel into one of the moons and we, we will start our work over there. Okay, ready to see my kill in action my friends and uh, let's, let's fly this beautiful capital vessel well. Let me show you where I am because I oops oops because I I already have flown just a bit. I am here right in front of the abandoned outpost. Let me open the anchor. There you go. Look at this. And I have been and I have been deconstructing. One of the beauty of many things that this kiln has. It has a huge huge cargo bay so my my task for the last half an hour it has been to deconstruct these um, abandoned outpost i am i am doing a fairly good job and but but still a lot a lot to get and yep i have the cargo space for all of this let me just show you uh, i will i will probably i will probably 
uh, as a background task uh, stop here uh, one more time to finish off the poi but but let me just show you go into my into my kiln you have four container controllers each one look at the volume this is what i brought from my from my base i i, I did still uh, left plenty of it back because i i do want that base to have enough resources if i ever need them but container controller number one same amount of value this one over here this one over here this is the one that i have been connecting and deconstructing so this is what i got from deconstructing a good chunk of the of the abandoned workshop my friends probably looking back i could have pushed a little bit um, this capital vessel a little bit faster uh, and, and when i say that uh, i could have gotten it sooner and perhaps it would be a good thing to do because it is so much easier to it, because it's it's clearly a mobile uh, base you can go park in one area clean up that whole area you have the space for it and then move to the next one much easier than to use my small vessel or even this one here to do the same kind of job there you go so this is the this is the pilot area where we pilot our capital vessel let me switch there you go go turn on the thrusters i was in the power save mode there you go three minutes and 44 and let's let's and even approach a little bit further i have my small vessel on the top and i have the the mining vessel I have the the small vessel which is also a mining vessel in the in the anger next stop i want to go to the moon we have two moons on this on this planet i hope i don't go into the wrong one both of them <laughs> um they, they have resources that i want to get but um, let me see if i remember the one that i was last which i kind of went between the episodes because i saw some big silicon deposits that i want to harvest i also saw a nice beautiful a crashed capital vessel to deconstruct so let, let me try to remember which one it was okay my friends small <laughs> update i was i was using my small vessel just to scout just to scout if it, if i was going into the correct moon yes i am let me just land my small vessel and we will finish off the trip well I couldn't really go wrong uh, with either moons, but uh, I have a plan that you guys might be able to help me with. So, let me try to show you. First I will show you the, the beautiful moon and all the nice resources that we might be able to get. First, mark. This is right on the limit, <laughs> on uh, the size that I can fit on the roof is there you go yes i know now let's go inside inside and yes it is that one so what's the plan the plan is i have a crushed capital vessel well in this moon i even have the the crash titan the the font and the meat and the back part so that's also a, 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 a set of uh, good pois to deconstruct but besides that there is i don't know exactly the name of that uh, of that uh, poi it, it always says crashed capital vessel but it is one crashed capital vessel that, that it has so many so many thrusters that um, yep yeah, i think it's one of the best finds early game or even mid game um, in terms of what you could find to deconstruct i want to park my capital vessel near that crash capital vessel and i will i will try to see if with the core placing um, a core i will be able to i want to be able to see if i can 
bring some intact thrusters. If you guys remember, a couple of episodes ago, which I will have to recheck, at least in game I don't know how to do it, there was a trader in one of the nearby systems, I think it was, if I'm not wrong, on the snow planet Beta 6, but I will have to double check, that there is a, a shady trader that it buys, it buys thrusters, capital vessel thrusters, and he pays a big buck um, if I can bring him some thrusters. So that's my, my general idea. Go near this crashed capital vessel, raise it to the ground, get all the resources, bring some thrusters, and see if we can get some nice money out of them. Is it a good plan? I think it is. Will it work? I don't know, my friends. Let's check it out. At least the first part of getting the thrusters. And as you can see, it is that beauty. Let's approach carefully. There you go. Find a nice spot close by. And this is a, a kind of a task that clearly I couldn't do without a, a capital vessel. I could uh, get the parts of the thrusters by deconstructing, which, which by itself it's not bad. You will get plenty of resources that way. But if I can save the time of crafting my own thrusters to sell, I think that's a win, right? Look, look at this. You, you, you can see it from here. I'm seeing already one, two, three, four, in the, in the, on, the on the other side, eight more thrusters. These kept. Oops, oops, oops. And I, I am not used to drive capital vessels. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There you go. Let's park kind of sideways on this side. No crash capital vessel. Beautiful. Nice view. Okay, can I just activate the power save? Beautiful thrusters. Kind of off. And uh, that's that side. I can turn off all of these waypoints. Look at this beauty. You guys probably, if you if you play Impedian, you already know this POI. But look at the amount of thrusters that we have here. One, two. I think uh, I have done this before, and it is almost thirty thrusters. I even have one big one. And and these, if I can get it uh, intact, it will fetch a good price. The problem is, will I have the space? Well, it's also it is also the best way to try out our new capital vessel, right? Let's get a lot of load into it and see how it handles. But I'm really look 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 at this view, my friends. Come on. Come on, door, door. Stay, stay open, please. Don't, uh, don't uh, wreck my, don't wreck my recording. Look, look at this view, my friends. Be beautiful, be beautiful. Yep. And before finishing off, my friends, because it will be placing the core and deconstruct. That's what I will be doing. Nothing special. And I will also get some of these. I might explore a little bit more of the moon, but I'm not going to do any fighting, so it's going to be just harvesting resources. And we have here a couple of iron deposits, but I want this cobalt one. I have already mined it, but I want to. I want more. Another iron deposit, but cobalt. Let's get that one. Silicon medium. Let's get that one. Silicon medium. Or another one. Even the pentaxid ones. I I want these ones. I kind of cleaned one. One of these, one small one, somewhere around here, when I was here with my small vessel, and I got, it, this is what I got. I got, uh, all. Uh, uh, it was almost 200 uh, pentaxid crystals, I left half of it back at my base, but uh, since I am here, all of these uh, undis 
disputed uh, deposits, I want to get most of them. Mm -hmm. We even have here the crush, Titan rear, the mid, and the front. I finally found where we can buy some some uh, ores at the mining station. I will. Uh, the first time that I was there, I checked the wrong place, but there is a place that you can buy some stuff. So that's really nice. And that's pretty much it. I still have an area to explore. In terms of deposits of this moon, 7 out of 10 of silicon, 7 out of, 7 out of 10 of iron, 4 out of 6 of cobalt, 2 out of 6 of magnesium, and 5 out of 9 of pentaxid. I want all of them. If I could find some copper, it would have been the best ever moon but uh, i won't complain because all the other ones are going to be very very useful and my friends let me go upstairs oh yeah let me go upstairs for a bit let me go upstairs for a bit no so we can beware there are some places that if you stand you will get high temperatures and um and i think uh, some radiation let me see at this 179 the generator it's straight straight down that area so you need to go into one corner generator or some thrusters perhaps there you go there are some corners that you can no there you go my friends what a lovely lovely view we are done for this episode because as i said plenty of grindy work that i want to get done and hopefully on the next one I will be able to fit a warp drive on this on this capital vessel and we can start to hop on to other systems and probably the first one I will try to sell the thrusters trying to sell the thrusters for that kind of money it will allow me to buy the optronic bridges and whatnot that I require to upgrade the small vessel with the shield and even again a lot of upgrades for my capital vessel so i'm really looking forward and hoping that this plan will work my friends i do hope you have enjoyed and i hope to see you all in the next one until then thank you